And after the California shootings and the attacks in Paris as well, of course, a lot of people on edge across the nation and here in Massachusetts. And there is some comfort in seeing extra police at public events. Katie Brace is live in Boston with more on that tonight. Katie? And David, earlier tonight, hundreds crowded the Boston Com for Christmas festivities. And while many had some anxiety about being in a large crowd, they did not want to stay home. Spectators crowded around the frozen frog pond, but the Pointer family stayed back. We always stand back in a large crowd and we don't get involved and up front and we're really aware from now on, which is a bit sad, but that's the way our world is turning out to be. They witnessed the Boston Marathon bombings. This latest wave of violence in Europe and California makes the fear very real again. It's even when we were walking home from school today, we were just right down in Back Bay and we just always look around. But fear did not stop hundreds of people from gathering for the Boston Common Tree Lighting festivities. Boston police officers were noticeably there, too. I think that people are starting to realize that we can't let fear stop us from living our lives. What happened in Paris? I was there in Paris. This man was in Paris during the terrorist attacks and says he now is more uncomfortable in large crowds. Yes, um, I'd like people to be paced, to, li to live in pace. Here, friends and strangers gathered in peaceful celebration. Many very aware of more than the show. Just watch your back, be careful. And there were no problems here tonight. Reporting live in Boston, Katie Bryce, WBZ News.